You just never know what you're going to find. That's what makes it so much fun in my opinion. I love estate sales. This estate sale had some amazing pictures. I'm here on the last day, which is half price day. And as I drove by, I couldn't find a parking space and there was a line down the sidewalk. So looks to be promising or not. We'll see. So I'll talk to y'all later. In the package, there's only three. Set. Oh, I loved this game as a kid. It's cool. Hmm. Board games age <clears throat> before today. Oh, I think they want four a piece for them. That's very fun. Well, how does this uh, Oh, it's just a cover. No, it's not. It's kind of both, too. But I love when they're falling apart. It's got that. Well, that's kind of fun. Bunnies. It's half of a die cut. It's just his feet. <laughs> it's really faded. Yeah. 
be up in a second. Wait till you see this. Funny as a mess, but it's really cute. Yeah. This is Mary Poppins. Kids are little. More. Oh, this is pretty. It's a huge book. I don't need any more books. I need books like I need a hole in my head. Oh, this is a yeah, well. Wow. Did I just say I needed books like I need a hole in the head? Oh, isn't that, that's the same one with a different cover? What's the date on this? MCM. MCM 53. No, it's 50. Okay, 53. I don't need two of them. I like the cover a little bit better. And the wiener has a book. It could have Christmas in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all yeah. over the place. <laughs> I, I have done the same thing. I like that. What's the beat on that? I don't know. Ooh. Well, do you want to look first, Dan, and see? I know it won't fit. It'll hang out of the... Um, that should be I do want you to take the back. Yes, I will do that. Um... My, my SUV, I bet it won't fit this much. It's 
I'm going to embroider on this. It's beautiful. It's got some issues, including the stink bug. How many blankets you want? They're good. Yeah, you wouldn't make it in my house. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these photos. She's missing her frame. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And the babies. Oh, they're amazing. She's amazing too, but she's all... She's warped. <laughs> no, uh... Reference to her person. Oh, I love them. They need to be saved. They need to be saved. Such a good If I'm reading that correctly, these would have been. These are three dollars a piece. That's too much for me to pay for linens that I do not need. Oh, this is pretty. This is very pretty. I'm gonna be four dollars today. It's a really nice shape. I literally don't need any more of this, seriously. That one is gorgeous. Oh, this is cute. Because none of us need it in our house. That might be good. I think it would look bad. I could at least put it up. You know what I mean? And then. Okay. Bought this beautiful mirror as well. Sorry for the road noise. I'm at the studio, but I'm not going to take it in because um, I'm going to keep it. It's for me. I love that. Look at the detail. Gorgeous. So I only paid twelve dollars for that. I thought that was a steal. So that was an amazing amount of fun. I didn't even film at the first estate sale, the one that I told you about in the car. The reason is that once I got there, um, I told you there was a line. I drove past and there was this huge line. There were so many people in there that I had to just dodge and maneuver and um, it just I couldn't do it I could not film and collect things at the same time so a lot of fun there as well you just never know what you're gonna find that's what makes it so much fun in my opinion I love estate sales first thing that I picked up and you can see it back there was this little steps ladder I almost said step stool it's a step ladder but what I liked about it and I've been looking for one is all the paint that's all over it and it's small it's not a huge step ladder so this is like a perfect display here in the studio i can even set it on a table or something i'm really excited about that but the most exciting thing about this the apps i mean i've seen them at flea markets and whatever and i've seen them i think probably 20 30 dollars for these ladders um i guess it's for three dollars <laughs> <laughs> three dollars oh that was great I'm really excited about that I also picked up these 1957 Miller Studios chalkware poodle pieces aren't they wonderful um, very good condition too just a few little scuffs on them um, I love them this one needs to be touched up probably on the top because that is um, viewable when you look at them depending on how high it is but awesome awesome little pieces I paid $5 for the set of two of them. Love them. I don't know how old this is, but I love this sort of thing. <laughs> so 
I grabbed it. I thought it was fun. I think they just threw that in there. I don't think I even had to pay for that. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love boxes, things with cubbies, all that sort of thing. And so I really enjoy the cheese boxes. And anymore, I find these cheese boxes and for retail around 12 to $15. And I haven't seen a whole lot of them at estate sales for reasonable prices. But I picked this one up. This one is for me. Um, I'll use it for display in the studio or at home. Um, and this was uh, $4. So I thought that was a really good deal. All of my estate sale companies that I frequent regularly, I think, think I'm a little odd <laughs> for the things that I like to pick up. I picked this up. This is pink grid paper. I picked this up for junk journaling. I may actually make um, packages of ephemera and stuff to sell in the studio at some point, and this is something that I'll put in there. They threw that in for free because I'm like the only one that likes that stuff. <laughs> if you didn't see my video where I showed my um, Raggedy Ann collection, I think it was in a video. I know I showed it on Instagram, but um, I will put a link to it there. I collect primitive raggedy ends so not your standard knickerbocker type raggedy ends you don't collect andy at all but i like the primitives usually they're handcrafted by artists and i just absolutely love them this one was at the sale look at the tea staining or coffee staining on her face isn't that amazing and she has the coolest long legs on her um, i just a lot of attention to detail i'm pretty sure that she was handmade and uh, yeah, I can see the hand stitching in the clothes, but I love her and she's gonna join my collection. And I only paid $5 for her. I don't often pick up cookie cutters at estate sales, but I love this style of cookie cutter. They tend to be older. And so I picked up a set of three of these. This one has a fun little handle and then a goose. And Mr. Goose would have had a handle, but no longer does. Um, they would have been $13, but I paid $5 today for them. <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. So I picked this little guy up. Actually, it's a little girl. Look at her. She is so old. And I don't know if you can see her workings in there, her little mechanism. But she is a crawler. Now, I, she wants to crawl. Um, I think it might take somebody with a little bit of mechanical know-how to kind of um, fiddle with her a little bit. I want her little face to show up. Show up on her little face. There we go. Um, but she has this little thing on the bottom. And her little legs, like the little mechanism still works in there. But, see? Um, so, like I said, she wants to work. But I paid $7 for her. I, I just thought she was adorable. Picked up another Raggedy Ann. Look at her. She's actually sewn so that she'll stand up like that. I just thought she was adorable. Really, really adorable. And I cannot tell. I mean, there's mis machine stitching on her. I think she had a tag, so I think that she was manufactured, but nonetheless, I still think she's adorable. Love her. She's going to go in my collection. This piece I picked up for me. I picked up a lot of stuff for me. It's a dangerous thing. Is it going to show up? It's this teeny tiny frame of shamrocks. And I like the fact that they're kind of variegated. And I, you know me in the smalls. I love the fact that it's so teeny tiny. But on the back, it says, um, it says Truffle Products Limited. I can't read it all because of my eyesight. Um, but it is from uh, County Waterford, Ireland. And that's going to go into my St. Patrick's Day display. Next two items I saw hanging on the wall and I grabbed them. Actually, that's not quite true. The lady that works there grabbed them for me. This one was way up high, and she's much taller than me, so she grabbed this down. This one was made in Japan. Um, these are great displays, and they actually have some value to them. This one, I don't see a maker's mark on it. This one we had a hard time getting off the wall because it was on the back of a door, 
and it was attached by screws and uh, she had to come in with her uh, screwdriver and take it off for me because I couldn't get it off. <laughs> I think she threw in, because she had written up my tag, I think she threw in the one that we unscrewed off of the door. And the one that was up high, I don't know how much she charged me for that. Um, I'd have to look. I don't have it here. <laughs> I'd have to look at the receipt, but I don't think it was much at all. I love these frames. I actually have a bit of an accidental collection going on with them. I have one from my family's estate, and now I have um, a couple more. So I may sell, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta sell something, guys, right? Everything I've shown you pretty much has been for, for me. Um, but I do love it. I love her. Look at the, doesn't she look, um, she reminds me of Cloris Leachman in the movie High Anxiety, that same look. And I love the frames on these. They just are so gorgeous. And I picked this up for $5 and that was a really good deal. So I got another Raggedy Ann. This is probably my favorite. Look at her holding um, a little doll or a child. Who knows what it is, but it is fabulous. I also paid $5 for her. And she's going in my collection. I saw this hanging on the wall and I thought this was fabulous. So I had to have this. Love this. I love the little bullseye pattern there. If I am coffee dyeing or doing something, I can lay something across there and get a really cool pattern. Um, I love, love, love this. This is probably going to stay with me and be used in an, in an art piece or... Um, somehow in the studio for display or whatever but yeah it's a cool piece oh I paid one dollar for that I picked up this bottle because I thought the shape was fabulous I've never seen one with this kind of a shape before um, it has a number on the bottom I think it's 121 I don't see a manufacturer's mark on it and I'm hoping that I can put some um, denture tablets in here and get some of this out but it kind of matches the accent color in my studio doesn't it it would be a really beautiful um, flower vase gorgeous i did get it for resale um, but that doesn't mean i'm not going to enjoy it for a while <laughs> so a couple of videos ago i went to an estate sale and i picked up a little toy or i don't even know if it's a toy tin when i was a kid i used it for play-doh i had one i used it for play-doh but i picked up one of these little tart tins and I put it back and somebody commented that they, you know, that they would have picked that up. And I did not pick that one up, one, because I have tons of tartans here in the studio that I have bought for assemblage pieces and I have not used them yet. Um, two, that one was really flimsy. And obviously you can tell I did buy this one because this one um, definitely feels better constructed I'm betting that it's older it does have a little bit of a bump there but these are really fun you can use these as molds to make um, jewelry shoot take them home use them as molds to make mints you know all kinds of really cool stuff this is a really fun thing and I'm glad to have it um, and I responded to that person whoever it was in the comments that I had so many I didn't need any more but you know it's kind of like with books <laughs> I think you saw earlier in the in the video I was talking about I don't need any more books but what do I do I pick up books um, this one's cute this is a toy aluminum cookie pan that's what it says on there they're um, in uh, well I got this whole basket by the way I got a whole basket full of little things here for five dollars it was originally ten but look at this miniature look at that isn't that cute it's like a miniature grater that was awesome and a miniature little gingerbread cookie cutter. All right, so the rest of these are all teeny tiny, teeny tiny tart tins. So these are different than the ones that I picked up um, that I said I had so many of. And that's why I got them. So they're like little, they might be little chocolate molds, little vintage chocolate molds. And what makes me, and I, because I've seen these, but I haven't done any research on them. So I always thought they were tart tins, except this little guy is a bear I think he's a bear anyway so that's what made me think that they might be chocolate um, molds and here's a little this one 
Then there's a couple of uh, little rectangular ones here, a triangle one. There's an egg, a little flower shaped one, a couple of diamond ones. This one looks like a haystack or, or wheat. And then a little heart. So yeah, I picked these up um, probably to use in art. I think that's I think that's what's going to happen with them. All right, so these are awesome to decorate in with your vintage stuff. I love them. Um, I picked up several of these silhouettes. Now these, I don't know how old the frames are. I don't know when they frame them, but it actually is signed from the 1960s. This one's 1965. So they are definitely older, not as old. I mean, these silhouettes go back many, many years. Um, oh, this one's dirty. But uh, so these are newer in the whole scheme of things, but they're still very desirable. And these usually sell for between $10 and $15, especially the signed ones like this. Very, very cool. And then this one's not, well, this is also, it's signed, but not by the, <laughs> not by the artist. This is the other one. Very fun. This one, I think might even be older. But it is not signed, but it is very awesome. It does have a little boo-boo on the frame there. But this is the back of this frame. This is a wooden frame, whereas the other ones are plastic. Those other three, they were plastic. This one is wooden. Or cardboard, painted wood. Look at that. I think maybe it's cardboard. Then there were these, which I also think were probably at the same children, but when they were younger, these oval ones, aren't they wonderful? And here's this, one. Yeah, it's a little teeny weeny boy. So I was happy to have those. I think those are gonna look really cool um, on a display. And like I said, they're wonderful for decor. I have another wonderful primitive Raggedy Ann. And she is dated and um, named on the back. I don't think the artist signed her, but, but that's really cool. She's amazing. Look at, look at how her body's been stained and then her pants have been stitched. I just absolutely ad adore her and she's going into my collection. I paid $5 for her as well. All the Raggedy Ann's were $5 a piece today. This next item is definitely an example of why you have to make sure that you look around, look up, look at the walls. Up on a high shelf, I found this beautiful Art Nouveau frame. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? With this lovely little girl in there. Look at the picture of her. She's just wonderful. But like I said, I have kind of a collection of these little swinging frames going. Um, but her, it's marked on the back. So we have the provenance, 1936 or 1937. It's just wonderful. And I love when they have, they have the felt on the bottom. Gorgeous frame. But I looked up. I couldn't reach it. I had to have the lady uh, that worked the sale come and get it for me. Uh, but I'm happy to have that. Really pretty. Very, very pretty. <laughs> I grabbed this canning. Um, oh, what do they call that? Now I feel like D. I think I need the crickets. Um, you know the thing. When you put it in there and it has the funnel. That's the word. Um, like a funnel for canning and I got it because it might come in handy for art or maybe I'll can someday who knows um, and my sister can so I picked it up for that reason I picked this beautiful bird glass bird stopper I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before it's gorgeous I don't think it's signed it does have a couple of boo-boos but its beak is full it's all the way out to the front, but there is a sliver off of this side, just a hair um, making the beak a little bit of a sharper point. I don't know if that makes sense to you. And then there's just a little 
Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. A little sliver off of there too, but otherwise, I mean, that's really pretty. That would be pretty in an assemblage piece or just to display if you like to collect vanity items or whatever. I'm betting that it came off of a perfume bottle. What do you guys think? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let me know. I always pick up metal thimbles when I find them. Um, my goal is someday I'm, I want to teach a class on making a necklace out of uh, metal thimbles, so I grab them. They're not that easy to come by anymore. Then I got another one of these. I picked one up not long ago, um, and it was in much worse condition than this. I picked this one up because of the texture and the pattern in the pan. Uh, this makes wonderful, wonderful coffee dyed papers and things because of that texture. It's gorgeous. Um, that's what it says in the bottom. It is oven X. All right, I got a whole box. Those of you, I, well, start over again. <laughs> 